Let's begin with the training. The Honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against the King's guards most severely. Every inhabitant of Corinthus who is guilty of a crime is to report immediately to Lord Andre. Any contact me. with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly forbidden. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Come here. Then let's see what you can do. of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. Ah, all civilian my judges head. are to hand oh, over their man. duties to the royal You pack quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold the pieces. Lord You've earned them. commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against I've the got your sword. Good. I'm curious whether you'll every dare to challenge me again. Who is guilty of a crime is to report immediately to Lord Andre. Show me your maps. Will it ever change? Those are all just I might have thought about it differently. I never knew that. Someone's gonna be the Anything's possible. I never knew that. I'm no better off myself. Some problems solve themselves. So. Is it really true? That's nothing new. That's all just gossip. That's really not my problem. Tell this to anyone. It's all just gossip. You don't have to ask me that. That's not what I heard. He doesn't see that. These are bad I can't help it. It's better to watch out. Listen to the wrong people. That doesn't surprise me. Take care. That's exactly what That's I said. It's all just gossip. He never would have thought of that himself. Come back again later. I, I'm sure to have something new for you then. That doesn't surprise me. 
Telling you anything new. As if I didn't have enough. Hey! That was obvious all along. I have talked to Baltram. Totally he will find someone to relieve you. Ah, very good. Then we can finally leave here. You had better keep my aquamarine ring for now. I assume it will come in handy for you until you get your own. Okay, let's go. It's not what Where? That's totally obvious. It's not what I heard. Those are all just rules. He never to Onar's farm. Himself. Then let's go. Follow me. I wouldn't have done that. Nothing surprises me anymore. Exactly what I said. That's what I've always said. That's really not my problem. And Beliar spoke to another creature. But Adonos brought forth the tide, and the creature was washed from the face of the earth. I was going to give you advice. That's what I've always said. I can't take care of everything for everybody. He can't keep anything to himself. Another one of those beasts. So much for you, filthy beast. So much for you, filthy beast. Come here, you filthy beast. Send those beasts to kingdom come.
What's the matter? What's the matter? Just look at that mess under the bridge over there. I haven't seen anything like it in my entire life. Those swine should be exterminated, I tell you. Are you a citizen of the town? Haven't been in ages, boy. There's no love lost between me and the corrupt swine in the upper quarter of Corinus. I used to have quite a bit of influence there, you know, but that was months ago. What happened? I was traveling with my helpers when those horrible brutes came jumping on my cart out of the blue and butchered everybody. I'm lucky that I still know how to dish out a decent right hook, or they would have killed me too. That stuff there under the bridge is yours? The cart, the goods, everything. Look, I collected some of your stuff for you. You can keep it. None of it is really of any value to me. The only thing that's irreplaceable are the three stone tablets they stole from me. Who were those people? The bandits. Who else? They took over the bridge up there. They rob everybody who tries to pass the bridge. I knew they were lurking up there, so I passed under the bridge instead. But my cart and my goods must have been too tempting for them. Those scumbags simply jumped from the bridge directly onto my cart. Uh... I should have tried to steal past in the night. Stone tablets? The water mage in town wants to buy them from me, and I promised he'd get them. I must have them back at any cost or my reputation will be tarnished. Where did you get those stone tablets? I found them near old buildings, such as mausoleums or sometimes in caves. I've already sold a whole bunch of them to the water mages in town. They're pretty rare down here, though. I found most of them northeast of Corinus. What would a water mage want with them? He said he was going to study them and asked me to bring him more. Why don't you simply go looking for new ones? Uh, during that melee with the bandits, I sprained my ankle. I can still hobble along, but I don't want to walk very far on this foot. You managed to drive back the bandits? Yes, but I'm sure they're still up there on the bridge. Can you teach me how to hit hard like that? <laughs> of course I can. I need information about a weapons delivery for the bandits. Weapons delivery? Yes, I know about that. Some swine from the city sold them so many weapons that they could barely carry them all. Some of them are kept on the bridge where those best to attack me. The rest of them will probably hauled past Bengar's farm on the high pastures. Maybe the bandits wanted to take them across the pass. Where are those high pastures? Orland's Tavern is located just about the center of the island of Corinus. It's called the Dead Harpy. There's a way south from there. It leads to the high pastures and the entrance to the pass to the Valley of Mines. About those stone tablets, I've got one here. Thank you. Now I'm still missing two. I'll pay you for them, of course. So, here we are. So, the rest of the way you can manage alone. 
I have to get back to the city. I've got a few things to take care of. Just follow this road here. And remember, stand up for yourself and don't take any crap, and it'll be smooth sailing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look who's just turned up. The farmer boy. You're just in time. Who are you anyway? That's none of your business. If I wanted to tell you who I am, I'd have done it already. Got it? What do you want from me? Are you still having problems with the city guards? I'll give you problems, you punk. I'm looking for a fellow. He isn't anywhere to be found in the city, and these losers here don't have a clue either. He's thin, dark-haired, and he usually wears red armor. As far as I know, he used to be a prisoner in the colony. I think his name starts with a D. You're talking about Diego. It could be that that's his name. I'm not sure. I probably only know when I see him. Anything else? Yeah, you big mouth. Is there something else? I need weapons, I need provisions, and gold wouldn't be bad either. Didn't you find a weapons dealer in the city? You can't be serious. They only have junk. That's the truth. Gold? We all want gold. Could be. And what would you do with it? Drink your way through it in the tavern, or blow it in the brothel if I'm any judge. And you have a better plan, huh? You would crawl under a rock if you knew all I've done. So none of that cheek, or I'll shut your big mouth for you. It's no secret. Provisions? You're in a tavern. The stupid barman won't hand anything over unless you pay him for it. Weapons? The mercenaries have weapons. Ah, interesting. I heard that the fat farmer Onar had hired the boys. <laughs> Not too bad for a landlubber. Not a bad idea, but I really should pay them a visit. Here's ten gold coins. <laughs> you poor sucker. You can keep your dough. I have a better idea. There's a cave not far from here. I've been around here before, and I buried my stuff in a few places. The cave is too dangerous for me alone. I want you to help me with it. But no, he insisted he knew better. It was his dis... Nobody will learn anything from me. And there's more, believe me. That's been known a I used to say that myself. That's really not my problem. Is the beer any good here? It's not exactly the best, but in these bleak times, you can't be choosy. Is it really true? What are you doing here? Up until a few weeks ago, I was slaving away on the landowner's fields. One day it just got too much for me and I took myself out of there straight away. Now I'm my own That's boss. Everything I own is in this chest here. 
That's all I need, too. Interested in a little contest? He thinks it's as easy as that. What kind of a contest would that be? I call it bottoms up. The rules are quite simple. We take turns ordering a tankard of the best beer the old geezer has to offer. Every tankard has to be drunk dry so that it doesn't even leave a ring if you set it on the table upside down. The last man standing wins. The loser pays the tab and the stake. Well, how about it? Maybe some other time, when I'm not in a hurry. Could I bet on someone else, though? Certainly. If you finally manage to find someone with the guts to go up against me, then I'll bet with you. Everybody pays the same amount into a pot. The winner gets everything. The size of the stake depends on your purse. Bring me someone who dares to go up against me and you've got to bet. Did anything else of interest happen? Not that I know of. Nobody tells me anything. That was obvious all along. That's not what I heard. It had to happen sooner or later. Is it really true? I used to say that myself. <laughs> you hardly know who to believe these days. It was his decision. Who are you? I'm Orlan, the keeper of this here modest tavern. What are you looking for, stranger? Maybe a decent sword, or a, a good piece of armor? A good swig from the country stills, or uh, just some information? I can give you all that and more if your coins ring. It's a bad business. Tell me that isn't true. What kind of armor can you offer me? I have here a very nice piece that is sure to please you. The things I could tell you. I'll think about it. As you like, but don't wait too long. I'm staying out of it. Nobody will learn anything from me. How's it going with your tavern? Times have been better, you know? People's purses aren't as open as they used to be. That was no big deal. Show me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. It's a bad business. And that's the truth. That was obvious all along. Am I being paranoid, or are you staring at my ring? Nobody well, will I'm anything not quite sure what to make of that. I couldn't care less. It's an aquamarine. Ever seen one before? Yes, I have. Well, welcome to headquarters, brother you. of the ring. What can I do for you? You hardly know who to believe these days. Do you know that fellow with the eye patch? Well, that isn't true. I've seen him here before. A nasty piece of work. Off myself. Back then, he moved into one of my upstairs rooms. And that's the truth. Along with a huge crate. He had to be constantly that nagged about surprise. paying the rent for his room. And even then, he took it's his own delicious. sweet time about it. Then, one day, he vanished. Yeah, just like that. Along with the crate. Uh, I don't want anything to do with the likes of him. Nobody will learn anything from How me. much do you charge for a room? For a brother of the you ring? Really should have known Nothing. Better. Here's the key to the upper rooms. You pick one for yourself. Got it differently. The things I could tell you. I agree with you completely. I've got no time for things like that. I'm no better off myself. You can't rely on that. Do you really believe that? I've got no time for things like that. <laughs> I agree with you completely. It was his decision, wasn't it? That's really not my problem. No one really wants to hear that. I know nothing about nothing picking locks. Anymore. Thing all over again. <laughs> you hardly know who to believe these days. That's no secret. Will it ever change? The things I could tell you. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. No idea, you tell me. I'm not telling you anything new. 
thinks it's as easy as that. If he doesn't... He really should have known better. I'd have gone about it differently. You just have to listen. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. And that's the truth. That's been known a long time. That's no secret. Hm, that doesn't surprise me. Let's visit the cave. Come with me. There's another one. One less monster around. All right, friend. Here's the cave. And here's a pick for you. I buried the stuff somewhere in there. X marks the spot. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. What about you, then? Someone has to guard our backs. And now, in you go. Nothing to be had there.
Nothing to be had there. I think I've found something. What took you so long? Found anything yet? Yes, I dug up a small bag of gold. Give it here. Here you are. Great, so they're still there. You're not all that useless after all. Okay, listen. I've buried even more, and I want you to get it for me. Let's see. There's an islet in the small lake with the two waterfalls. One of my caches should be there. There are two more spots where I buried something further up, in the high pastures. One spot is behind the farm up there, and the other one's next to the entrance to the pass by the waterfalls. There are stairs leading down from the fields of the farmer up there to those of the landowner. There's another cache in the hollow where the stairs end. I'll wait for you at the crossroads by the landowner's fields. Don't fail me, you'll regret that, Buster. Wait a minute. One more thing. First, get me the stuff I buried, then we can talk. <laughs> 